Hi, I'm a visual artist, uh, Nancy Chasson, and today I'm going to be talking about Henri Matisse, who is a French painter. Uh, Henri Matisse is very famous for um, a new form of painting that he um, created using bright colors. Um, at the time, most artists were working representationally and when they painted, they used the actual colors they saw in the real world. But Matisse, he changed that. He started to use colors that express the way he felt when he looked at landscapes. So you'll see in his oil paintings, reds for the colors of buildings, pinks for the colors of skies. And he was very well known for using vibrant colors. Um, he painted well into his 60s, but uh, at that time he became quite ill and he needed surgery. And the surgery left him in a wheelchair. And because of that, he was no longer able to paint. From his wheelchair, he started his paper cutout series that lasted from his 60s and into his 80s. His paper cutout series he called painting with scissors. And here he took bright pieces of paper and he cut into them or he drew with his scissors in the paper. He would have his studio assistant place the cutouts on the wall of his studio or his apartment and then he would find uh, what he felt a, a satisfying design. So today we're going to look at Henri Matisse's most famous cutout series called The Swimming Pool, which now is installed in the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. It is one of the largest installations by this artist. So if you look at the elements of the swimming pool, or if you think of a swimming pool, what you'll see is shapes that look like they're diving, or starfish, or maybe reeds under the water, fish shapes as well. So Matisse was not trying to be accurate with his drawings, with his paper cutout drawings. Instead, he was trying to express how he felt. Um, so here's one that I found very satisfying to create. I just cut out pieces of paper, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. And I created a swimmer, and then I put, I created a swimmer, and I put reeds at the bottom, some starfish elements, some waves, and then just maybe some fish or other things floating around in the water. So for this, all you're really gonna need, it's very simple, is a glue stick, or just any kind of inexpensive glue, a pair of scissors, and perhaps even masking tape if you do want to put it on the wall. And it's very fun to put these on the wall or actually work even larger than the size that I brought with me today. So what I did was I used found pieces of paper. So found pieces of paper are things that you have around your home things that you can divert from the recycle bin. So this is an old, you can see an old calendar page. And then I took some inexpensive um, blue craft paint and I painted the whole area. Now the interesting thing about this, one of the reasons that I painted the whole area is because um, Matisse, he painted uh, his papers with gouache and he, so he was still painting, um, but he just wasn't painting representational anymore. So I have this paper, and I just wanna show you how I'm going to cut into this. So if you wanted to, you could look at images of people swimming or people diving or some other kind of reference material. So I'm just gonna cut this down a little bit, and I'm gonna show you, and. Uh, how I made this lovely swimmer here. And um, I do have some pieces I can share with you that I cut out earlier.
All right. So if you think about a body, and we maybe want the body to look like um, it belongs in the ocean, I started to cut out the body like waves, and it's very similar to what we see Matisse doing with his scissors. So right now I'm, as he would say, I'm drawing into the color. So this large piece, and I'm just gonna cut it in half. And start to lay it out. So the lovely thing about this, and the lovely thing about collage, is that you can lay out your design and decide if it's something that you like before you commit to actually gluing it down. So I'm just gonna draw a kind of a head shape. And then actually this part right here looks rather interesting. It looks like it could be a swimmer's body. Wonderful. All right, so I have a very large swimmer. All right, with some legs. Maybe with some kicking action happening. And then I'll finish that off with some arms. So then I can lay out. So you can see how dynamic this starts to look. Wonderful. Oh, I'm very satisfied with that. But I could play around with the, the legs. I could play around with the directionality of the arms. So it really looks like it's moving, play around with the head. So once I'm satisfied with my layout, I'm just gonna take my glue stick and glue down my swimmer. So Matisse, Matisse's installation, the swimming pool, was very large and he hung it up very high on the ceiling so that he felt like he was underwater. He created this when he was in the south of France during a very hot, hot day. His assistant had taken him to the swimming pool and he realized because of his age and because of his wheelchair that he actually wasn't gonna be able to swim. And so they returned home to his studio and speaking probably very much to his character, he decided he would create his own swimming pool. And that's exactly what he started to create. So here's my lovely swimmer. Actually, the legs look kind of tentacle-like now. And so I could, you know, be inspired. It doesn't have to be representational. I could be inspired and I could give my swimmer even more tentacle legs. So try to let your imagination engage in the process. All right, and respond to what's happening in front of you. So I also painted some pieces and cut them out earlier. And I really like this one. I just cut circles into the, into the paper with the paint on it. And because of the stiffer nature of it, they sort of have a dimensionality to them, a relief. So that was, that's a lot of fun to experiment that way. So it really gives some energy and some, some lift to our collages. And then, so you can see that this is relatively the same shape as the tentacle legs, but I could also use that to represent some waves or any other elements like reeds. All right, and then it is very fun to put these up on the wall and to look at them on the wall and decide, is there other things that you'd like to add to your collage? So I wanna show you something else that I thought was exciting as well. I'm really all about found papers. And so I often have old encyclopedias or old children's books in my paper studio. So for this project, I also took this 
um, encyclopedia that would end up in the recycle, and I'm going to give it new life. So what I do is I just leaf through the encyclopedia, and I'm looking more at the colors than actually what the representational content is or actually what the picture is. And I'm just going to tear out different sections, just something that maybe looks like it would fit in a swimming pool. All right, so here's, here's something interesting here. All right, all oh, this beautiful green color really reminds me of reeds. So again, just using that idea of waves, I'm just going to cut into the page. And I can start to glue the reeds. All right, so the wonderful thing about cutting up these pages, aside from the fact that we're really recycling, is that we get this dynamic look. All right, now our swimmer seems like they're out in the ocean or out in a lake or perhaps not in a swimming pool any longer. So then I can go ahead and glue these down. And again, I can pay attention to the design. Is there any other elements that I might want to put in here? Now, the other thing that Matisse did that was uh, pretty cool was he used the positive and negative of his cutouts. So if you don't understand positive and negative, I'm going to show you right now. So a positive is what you actually cut out, or what is the, the thing. I'm going to do a starfish. So I'm just going to cut into the paper into a star shape. All right, but I'm going to try to keep, I'm not going to go over to the end. I'm just going to keep on cutting on the inside. All right. So the positive space is the object, and the negative space is what's left behind. And I'll show you. So, oh, there we go. This is a really cool um, starfish shape. Yeah, the negative part, and you can see. So he did work with that, the positive and the negative. And if you go online and you just search Matisse cutouts, there's so many beautiful designs. And he, he has so many works online um, at the modern museums. So remember, this is a modern art form. All right, so I can glue down my lovely starfish shape, and then I can glue down. Now, if you wanted to write a poem or a story or rap about your creation, that could also be something really fun to do, or maybe even compose or listen to music that is inspired by swimming. All right, so you could create the floor of your pond or your lake or your imaginary swimming pool. So when you hang them or put them together, you can create each one individually, but then you can look at them together and see how they look. Just loving these little swirls that are coming off the picture plane. And there's my other swimmer. And finally, this one is a person diving in to the water. And you can see here, I have the positive starfish shapes and then the negative glued on as well. So I invite you to check out uh, Matisse's swimming pool online and create your own and hang it on your wall in your home. Thanks for watching.